We're actually doing a very graphic shape on the eye. It's kind of uh, a rectangle out. So when they open the eye, you just get a little wing here and then a hit of colour across here. And keeping the rest of the face kind of quite fresh and raw. So you just have this one element on the face. I love the makeup. It makes us all look like young and fresh and just what we need at this time. It's still kind of natural, just a little bit of glitter and it's good for a change. It's kind of a Chloe girl, but in a boyish mode. Deep tight part, little wispy bits around there. Bit of sort of, not rock and roll, but she's a little bit more sort of tougher. like girly but not girly girly in the pink like flowery way it's really nice like I'm wearing high-waisted shorts like kind of a button top that's like a little bit big and the shoes are really nice too with all the proportions that I was doing. It was trying to get that femininity to come through, but without it feeling girly. In a way, it was a bit more flirtatious. You could see skin popping out, you could have shorter lengths, there was transparency, so there was a little bit more sexiness than there has been of late, and I think that's important to kind of feeling your femininity. The fabrics really were critical in creating the silhouette. It was so much to do with the right volume and so that was something that was all down to the fabrications. In the, some of the fabrics that you saw in there were actually polyesters and nylons and viscoses. There were very interesting mixes of things and that gives the modernity because you can laser cut them because they're synthetic. Um, but there's a fresh crispness to the actual quality of them. They're very light and very easy to wear because they just sit away from the body so you're just, they're never touching you. It's like wearing nothing. <laughs> white and here is a huge flower so beautiful and it's a little skirt the shoes is gold really really comfortable I love the look it's like a princess
the sharpness of all of the cuts of those more feminine circular things were done with a laser. Everything was laser cut to give it that really sharp edge and that gives you something that feels very crisp and really modern. This was Claire's best show yet. Maybe it was something to do with the anniversary, something to do with looking at the archives, but she managed to distill an historic essence of Chloe, as well as putting her own stamp on it, and I think that's what was so clever about it. The evening was a huge part of my collection this season because I hadn't really delved into that previously and I still wanted it to be a really relaxed, cool attitude and so there was the mix of the boyishness coming through in the flash arrows that came down the side of shirts and down the side of the pants which kind of gave it a real kind of kick of aggressiveness and then mixed in amongst all these beautiful kind of fan pleated transparencies which almost moved around the body in different motions that give this incredible lightness. managed to make the ruffle look so graphic and so sharp and so elegant and not frou-frou you know like it, it was yeah I absolutely loved it very fresh a little bit couture-y going back to the roots of the house in this anniversary year revisiting some of Carl's codes that he initiated in the 70s and 80s for the house and even and, and even going back to the late 50s and 60s but you know it's an anniversary year so it's great to do that and I think she did it in a totally fresh way it didn't look costumey or vintage or period it looked like a viable modern proposition.